how to use the line shape tool in Photoshop 221. It's slightly changed now from 2020, 2019, etc. And obviously you've got lines exactly the same as before. But what I'm going to do, just going to go down here to the line tool. And you can see there's an option up here, shape, path, and pixels has disappeared. I'm not certain why, but the reason I think is because they've changed it now to work the width from this. And that isn't available, of course, when you're using pixel mode, which is a pity. It's a pity, but that's the, what I've gone for. However, I'm just going to use it in shape. I mean, you can use it in path as well. So path just creates a path just as normal. And you've got a variety of different options. Obviously, fill stroke, meanless thing. So I'm just going to undo that. Just going to go back to the shape option. And this is the one that's probably going to do more times than anything. So shape and just simply just drag across there. And now what you've got is the stroke. You've got, you've got there because it's black. A black line also you've got the width there and you can also modify it here so you can just change that you can also change the there and the height width and height but that's the bounding box that changes so it's the bounding box so if you put that to say I don't know 40 like that you can see there or maybe 20 of course what happens is it's crammed into a very tiny. So it's probably best just to go for, say, like a thousand or something like that, so you can see it. But you don't have to keep that, you just obviously just draw it interactively. I personally very rarely go to the top and do it that way. I would normally just use like that. And there's a number of other options here, but the key panel here is the properties for the live aspect. So window and properties. And what you can do, you can change a whole variety of different settings here. So you can go to, say, maybe make that blue or red or blue again or whatever, pink, grey, and so on and so on. You can also change the game like there, change the exposition, see the start point, and you can move that down like that. And again, you can change the stroke here, so there, change that, and you can also change the width. And also you can change options for the dash or stroke options. So you can make lots of there's dashed lines there. And you can change, maybe make that dash one and the gap one and so on and so on. Dash four, obviously some better than others. So I'm just gonna put that to one and four. And you can see, you can make a variety of different designs. Personally, very rarely use the dash feature, but clearly there are some uses for that. There's also a number of other options which you can use. You can put it outside there, and see that one's not very useful. So I just generally keep it like that. But you can modify these settings as well, and sometimes obviously they work better. You've got rounded there. You can also change the angle. So I'm just going to go for say. 180, so you can just change it like that. And also you can do various other transformations, some more effective than others. I'm just gonna remove that now, and I'm just gonna create another line there. So you've got your line, and again, whatever happens, it always defaults back to the settings along here, not what was there. Sometimes I wish it was actually just default to what the last one you've created. And you got some, show on shape creation that's the only feature but it would be nice if there was a feature where it says just use the last shape and of course what you can do you can always duplicate the last line if you want to do that so you can if you want just go over here to move hold down the alt option and just create multiple lines there now this is one thing again with the live properties you can select all of those shapes and you can then go to here and you can say make them all red or maybe change the width for all of them at the same time. Or maybe reposition it there and it will move relatively, obviously, because X and Y. Because obviously, clearly, they can't, well, they could, they could all be on top of each other. Obviously, if it X and Y, but that's obviously just relatively, they will move together. 
So you've got that. And also, of course, you could change the angle. So maybe make it 120. Maybe make it 90. And so on and so on. So they can all be changed via this panel. As mentioned, unfortunately, I say with this, you've got pass. And of course, there's a limited amount of options there. There's not particularly anything you can do here. You can obviously change that, height, etc., as well as the angle. Ah, could not rotate because obviously some things you can't do. So that's that. Unfortunately, pixels, no more. So hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra Channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, obviously 221. Also Illustrator, Crazy Cloud, Painter, Finity Photo, and many others. Also, please add some comments. What sort of things would you like to see with the line tool? Would you love to see the pixel option back or not? I mean, personally, I would love to see the pixel back again. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think we've got shape and path now. And uh, also a dislike or like. Thank you much.